And online right now, one of the most read stories on the BBC website is reporting that a guitar that was smashed up by Kurt Cobain, the uh, late frontman of the US rock band Nirvana, has sold at auction for nearly $600. That's uh, around half a... $600,000, sorry. That's nearly half a million pounds, uh, even though it was completely destroyed as the band were uh, working on their first album back in the early 1990s. It's in bits. Half a million I don't think quid. it matters. It's the story, isn't it? What would it be worth? Probably worth less if it was of intact. Of course. It's, I think you're right, actually. It's the story behind it that makes it worth so much. That's a lot of money, though. Um, inside the papers, some people are going to absolutely love this from the mail today. For sale, for £350,000, not as much as Kurt Cobain's broken guitar, <laughs> a proper life-size train set that runs on a mile-long figure-eight loop and that was built by the incredible Adrian Shooter, who was such a fan, he constructed this track in the grounds of his North Oxfordshire home. So this locomotive, which is said to be the world's oldest working steam train, the locomotive is being sold for £200,000 and everything else is being sold as well. He was diagnosed with motor neurone disease in 2022 and died in December. But that's an incredible thing. Really That's well. a proper... It properly goes around the garden. It proper train sets. Proper yes. Wow, wow. Uh, these pictures are rather stunning, aren't they, in the Express this morning, taken on the uh, so-called Jurassic Coast uh, in Cornwall and Devon. You can only see this, apparently, from a drone, so you won't see it if you, uh, if you turn up there. But uh, an artist by the name of... I was going to say David Attenborough. No, we know who he is. Don't <laughs> we? Uh, the name isn't on here. But um, he's, he's uh, painted with uh, environmentally friendly paints, these pictures of, oh, of dinosaurs in different wow. forms into the rocks. Wow. So you can see them from above. It's a really spectacular Gosh, uh, it's part beautiful. of the country, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got a Tyrannosaurus there, you've got a tri Triceratops. It's all part of a and new... David Attenborough is involved in some way. No, he's not. He? It's just the only name I could see. Oh, oh I thought he was. Oh, David Pops is the name of the artist. Well done.